Hi everyone, and welcome to the day in my life as a data scientist here at the London Stock Exchange, or LSAC, right in the heart of London, one of the world's core centers for finance. My day starts like for millions of other Londoners with the commute. I live in Zone 4, which sounds pretty far from central London, but my travel time to the office is only about 45 minutes door to door. Honestly, for this city, that's a pretty average and decent travel time. And we're here, St. Paul Station. Our headquarters is just a three minute walk from the station. And the view you can see for yourself, it's pretty incredible to work so close to one of London's most iconic landmarks. It never really gets old. Before I head up to the office, first priority, coffee. My usual is an oat latte and a croissant. Now I know this might be a very controversial one, but my friends and I are convinced that Pratt has one of the best croissants in the city. Can't start a busy morning without it. This is actually my very first time trying to film something in my working place, so bear with me. Some of the footage today might be a bit bumpy as it's being shot on my Meta glasses instead of my GoPro. Before we dive into work, I just love the vibe of our ground floor. This giant cube in the lobby is so nice. The images on it change depending on which company or organization is visiting us today. Maybe for their IPO or a big event. It means the whole atmosphere is different every single day. Our office uses an open desking system, which means my seat is different from day to day. Our team has hybrid working policy, which means I don't need to come in every day which gives a lot of great flexibility. But anyways, on the day I want to come in, I'll need to book a desk in advance online to secure a spot. All right, let's finally get set up. Okay, so what do I actually do here? I've been at LSAC for a little bit more than two years now, working as a senior associate data scientist. My team is part of the AI group, and as far as I could reveal, we focus specifically on RAG, which stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. So what does that actually mean? Our main job is to enable our customers, who are mostly financial professionals, to use intelligent search and AI to discover and summarize financial insights. LSAC is a massive financial data provider. Our data covers everything from market data to financial reports, news, and analytics. We're building products that use AI chat to give our customers reliable and well-supported answers that are rendered by a large language model. Let me give you a quick tour of this floor. As you can see, it's a very modern, open plan design built for collaboration. The setup is really clean and it's great for catching up with people. Sometimes you can just turn around and talk to your team to discuss something, if your colleagues are also sitting around you. This is our kitchen and breakout area. You've got the coffee bar over here with free tea and coffee, lots of comfy sofa, and all these different types of tables. These tables are where I have a lot of my informal coffee chats with colleagues. And these are my absolute favorite, the solo focus pods. This one is a 60 minute room. If I have an important meeting by myself or if I really need to concentrate on a complex piece of code without any distractions, I'll come to one of these. They're pretty much soundproof and are just perfect for that deep focused work. I use these a lot. I'm not eating in the main canteen today, but I'll give you a quick peek. I don't come to canteen to eat a lot, but I think the menu varies from day to day. And each day we have a vegan and non-vegan option. Today I'm grabbing takeaway pho with my lovely colleagues from a place nearby. It's great that we have relatively more people than usual in Linden office today. It's always nice catching up with them. Okay, back from lunch. I have to show you the coolest part of our headquarters. This is the atrium, and that is where the market open and close ceremony happens. This is a globally recognized event. Every working day at 8 a.m., the market is officially open, and at 4.30 p.m., it's closed, right here. To open the market, a special guest or company representative places a bespoke engraved glass tablet onto this podium. 
is a huge deal, especially for companies celebrating their IPO. Another must-see spot. This is the balcony on the sixth floor. The view of St. Paul Cathedral is just iconic. You'll see this shot in a ton of LSAC official photos and press. Whenever I have visitors, I always bring that up here. Alright, back to work. Today is actually pretty light on meetings. Speaking of my day, my meeting schedule really varies. Some days are light, but others like Wednesday or Thursdays can be 30 to 50% meetings. One of the most unique things about my team is that we're part of the LSAC and Microsoft partnership. This means about half of the engineers and product managers in my teams are from Microsoft and half are from LSAC. So let's talk about the meetings that I usually have in a day. Every day we have our team's ordinary daily sync. That's a fixed one where we share our daily progress. Then every other week we have a demo meeting. This is where all the different squads share their critical progress on this product. Our product is made of many components and even if each squad doesn't work side by side every day, our systems are correlated. So these demos are critical for alignment. If I have something to demo, this is probably the meeting I spend the most time preparing for. You only get about 5 to 10 minutes, so you have to condense your work really hard and make your key points really clear and efficient. Another one, which is honestly my favorite, is the data scientist sync. This is a catch up with the 5 to 10 data scientists within our working group. It's my favorite because it's the best chance to really nerd out and have passionate discussions about new techniques, share what we've built, and learn from each other. It's pretty casual and we often brainstorm new methodologies to try. Our team is pretty keen on exploring new techniques, discussing papers, and figuring out the best ways to solve a problem. This is where we really push the innovation, especially as part of our big partnership with Microsoft. And of course, like many of you, there are always a lot of ad hoc task specific meetings, syncing with different colleagues in and across a team to solve a problem or plan out a new feature. Uh, these are normally pretty intense yet rewarding and productive. On a typical day as a senior associate, a large chunk of my day is my own time to focus. Having this protected, uninterrupted time is actually very important for people at my level to be able to tackle complex problems. My coding work really involves wearing two different hats. Sometimes I'm wearing my engineering hat. This is when I'm implementing a system feature that needs to go into production. This work can be relatively high pressure especially around release deadlines. Even with our best testing, releases and CI pipelines can always have surprises. During these times, most of my energy is in pure Python development, making sure everything is robust and scalable. Other times, I'm wearing my data science hat. This is when the task is more of a close-ended data science problem. For example, how should we add an identical or enhance the retrieval logic to our system? Or how do we enrich or refine our evaluation methodology? This is much closer to my academic background, to be honest. I study financial mathematics and data science back at school, and I'll probably make more videos about this stuff later if you guys are interested. I've always believed that to be a great data scientist, you first have to be a competent Python developer. A deep understanding of software engineering principles is so important when you need to write production level code that can actually be delivered and used in a real world application, not just a research notebook. It's critical and I'm thinking of making a whole video on this topic from a data scientist perspective. Let me know if you'll be interested. And let's wrap up for today. It's been a busy one and I got so focused on that tool that I'm developing that I completely forgot about the dinner. So tonight's dinner is just my leftover pho from lunch. Well, it's not always the case. <laughs> Thanks so much for following me around today and I hope this gave you a helpful and realistic look at what a day in life of a data scientist 
as someone working in London Finance is really like. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.